School districts in our area are well into the new school year, and while we know the need to hire teachers is very big right now, CMS also pushing to hire for non-instructional positions. WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison joining us with more details. Yes, that's right. They need those non-instructional positions filled open and also the operational positions. So that's things like your school bus drivers and your custodial staff. Now we looked at CMS's website and they actually have a lot of those positions filled right now, but they have retirements that are upcoming, so they have to think ahead. I appreciate y'all. Every morning, like clockwork, Bruce Jones, or as the kids call him, Mr. Bruce, gets up at 4 a.m. He won't be a button man. He's at the front doors of Butler High School to prepare for hundreds of students. Unlock the doors, check the grounds. I go around the whole campus. I ride around the whole campus to make sure no vandalism has occurred. For more than two decades, he's kept the halls clean, the fountain shiny, and windows glistening. He's one of hundreds of custodians around CMS schools who help keep all 21 million square feet of the district clean. I don't want to be in a nasty building. I know they don't want to be in a nasty building. And you know, and if they see something, they're going to let me know. After years of lobbying the General Assembly and local lawmakers, CMS has finally got all its employees to make a minimum of $15 an hour, including positions like Mr. Bruce's. Custodians are the backbone of our commitment to providing a healthy and safe environment for students and staff. They were on the front lines during the COVID-19 pandemic, sanitizing our spaces, assisting educators so that teaching and learning could continue. While we talked to Mr. Bruce, students couldn't help but interrupt. Congratulations. As well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Bruce is retiring next year. No more 4 a.m. wake up calls, Butler staff or students. I will miss both of them. And it goes without saying, they'll miss him too. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Bruce, he was such a joy to be around. I can tell you just want to laugh with him. You know, they need to fill positions like Mr. Bruce's because, again, he is retiring. So the number of jobs that are open on CMS's website, it fluctuates because they can't technically take it down until those positions are actually filled. But they say keep applying. They need folks to fill those positions in. And they have actually a number of recruiting events that are going to be scheduled for this month. Live at CMS headquarters, Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. Oh, Shamaria, such a great story.